It seems that all you genetic freaks of nature that call yourself the clans enjoyed my first tutorial on Clan Ghost Bear so much that I decided to move along to the next galaxy. In this Battletech painting video series, which I like to call an Intersphere Mech Warrior's Guide to Painting Stupid Clan Mechs, I'm embracing the artistic side of Clan Ghost Bear to create my own custom variation of the Beta Galaxy paint scheme. Here are the paints you're going to need to follow along. We're starting off with a Depths Mechanicus Standard Gray from Games Workshop Citadel line of paints, and we're applying the primer pretty much in every direction in a light coat, and I'm using my custom designed 3D printed priming tool to hold the miniature. You can find a link in the description below to my Etsy store where you can purchase the STL files for this particular tool. In a moment, we're going to be using some contrast paint, so I want to give this mech sort of a fake zenital highlight look to it for the first couple of steps. I'm working with a light gray color. I have negative from Cold Craft's line of paints. And I'm imagining there's a light source off the left shoulder of the mech, and any armor panels kind of caught by the light source from that direction are being colored in this light gray. Let's carry on with the whole fake zenital highlighting thing, and this time I'm going to do some edge highlighting with a white paint. I've got Honor from Cold Craft's line of paints. I'm just picking out some of the edges facing my light source and giving them a nice bright white edge highlight. In the areas opposite the light source, I'm taking a dark gray color, so I'm mixing a little bit of a medium gray with some black. And I'm kind of coloring some of the armor panels this darker gray color to give the illusion there's a little bit more shadow effect once a contrast paint comes into play. Once the previous layers have dried, it's time to bring out some contrast paints. I've got Talisar Blue from Games Workshop set it a line of contrast paints because, you know, they make those paints. This color here is pretty darn close to the actual color that Clan Ghost Bear Beta Galaxy is supposed to be. Just cover the entire miniature with this color. At this point here, the Talisar Blue is mostly dry. I'm going to switch over to using a shade. I've got Citadel's Nun Oil. And what I want to do is run this shade in between some of the armor panels to make that area darker. I'm also going to run it around some of the raised armor panels. This will help increase the contrast of some of the details and make it easier for your eye to see them. We're going to start moving on to some details now, and I'm looking for mechanical things. Gun barrels, jump jets, cooling vents, stuff like that. This is going to be a three-step process. And to start out, I have negative from Cold Craft's line of paints, and I'm going to cover each of these little details in this gray color. First layer is done. We're going to move on to the next layer of this process, which is silver. I've got Shining Silver from Army Painter's War Paint series. I'm just going to do the same thing I just did, but with silver. However, you want to leave maybe a little bit of gray showing just to give the illusion of kind of worn down effects on these areas of the battle mech. To finish up the metallic detail process, we're going back to non-oil and coating each of these parts in that shade. Now we're getting to the defining feature of Clan Ghost Bear Beta Galaxy's kind of color scheme and it's described as a series of cracked ice effects ringing around its arms and their legs. Now I like how this effect looks, however I want to get a little bit more creative with it as other people on the internet have. And I'm going to paint it more in a linear fashion than a circular fashion. I think that looks a lot cooler. But of course if you want to go the traditional route, you can do the same process I got here, but you're going to kind of draw it around the arms and around the legs in like a ring bracelet type thing. I'm starting with a bright blue color. I've got Simone from Cold Craft's line of paints, and this is going to be the basis of the ice area. And because this is supposed to be like a cracked ice surface, make sure the edges of this ice area are not nice and smooth. Make them kind of jagged, bulgy, things like that. We're now going to finish the cracked ice sections by taking some bright white. I've got Honor from Cold Craft's line of paints. And I'm going to very carefully paint in little daubs of paint that kind of make up the cracked ice surface. I want to make sure to leave enough of this bright blue in between these white dots and you can see it and get the illusion that the ice is cracked. The key thing to do here is as you're putting down these areas of white paint, 
keep them small, keep their size random, and keep their angle and placement random as well. You don't want to see any sort of order to them, and that'll break the illusion of it being cracked ice. All right, we're down to the final step, and this is just to paint the cockpit. I've got some bright gold metallic color from Army Painter's War Paint series. Gonna locate the cockpit as best I can and highlight those areas of the mech. I think there's only two of them here. I think. The one downside of contrast paints is you gotta be really careful with the steps on top of it because if you screw up, you may not be able to fix it. And that is about all I have for you today. We can call this project done. Now, normally at this point, I would preemptively reject all your Bajals, but apparently your clanners don't ever issue them to me because, well, you probably think I'm not worthy because all I do is make them of your culture all the time, which, you know, we tend to do that a lot. Regardless, though, I want to thank you guys all for watching. I'm Jason, the creator of the Tabletop Battlefield. If you like more Battletech painting stuff, be sure to hit that subscribe button because I've got plenty more of these ideas lined up in the future, because by that, I mean there's a crap ton of more famous military units in the Baddock franchise to paint up. <laughs> Translation, other ideas for painting. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video.